Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we're on to day five of Jenny's Countdown to Christmas. This is a box from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, kind of like an Advent inspired box with all kinds of sewing related goodies. Um, so yesterday we got the needles and the threader, the sewing machine needles, the universal needles. So the needles were about 350 and the threader, it looked like from what I could find would run around $6. So the four day total so far is $32 and 50 cents for the box. And now we're on to day five. And yesterday I kind of guessed that it was some kind of um, Missouri Star Company branded item. It's kind of taller. So I was thinking maybe some kind of cup or tumbler, something like that. Um, other than that, I have no idea what it might be, some sort of decorative item maybe. But I feel like a lot of these boxes from last year and then the first time for the first day this year seem to be um, like Missouri Star Company branded items. So let's go ahead and take a look and then we'll see what the bag for tomorrow looks like. <laughs> I guess I should pull the tab out first. Um, okay, looks like like a mug, a tumbler type thing. Let's see what it looks like though. Oh, it's really cute. The colors are really cute. Um, save this box because I might be able to use it. So let's go to the sewing machine, Missouri Star Company. Um, and then it does have some helpful stuff, it looks like on the side, on the side. So quilt sizes, I am constantly looking this up. Um, so it has the quilt size, what uh, uh, suggested sizes, what batting size you'll need. Um, so that's kind of helpful. And then make your own quilt top. It tells you how many packs of like five inch squares, 10 inch squares, and 2.5 inch strips you'll need to make a different size quilts. So that's kind of cool. Um, again, I would, I, I have a ton, we have a ton of cup. When we moved, I threw out so many of this type of cup because you end up getting so many of them for as gifts as like if you go to any type of um, market type thing sometimes companies are giving these away um, for branding and stuff like that so we end up with so many of them anytime my husband signs up for like um, different they're not podcasts but different things that he likes to listen to he comes to becomes a member of they send some sort of cup like this his work gets a lot we had so many. I threw away so many of these. So uh, that that cabinet is always packed full. I might keep this up here just for decoration, just to look at so I don't have to Google that information, but not wild about getting one of these. Um, it's not the most awful thing to get, obviously. Uh, obviously you need a drink and they come in helpful, but um, I would have preferred like a, a notion or especially some more fabric or pattern ideas, stuff like that. But let me know what you think in the comments. Um, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm being so negative about it. The excitement of opening these is always really fun though. So don't get me wrong. I have a lot of fun opening these, whether it's something that I'm really wild about or not, it's still fun looking at the different gifts and what was decided to be sent to us. Um, so yeah, that is what it is. Okay, so let's look at the package for day six. It's trying to open already, so let's keep it down. <laughs> so day six, it's bigger. Um, it looks, it feels like there's more than one thing in here. I feel like it might be some sort of pattern, but I'm not sure. There's definitely, it, you know what? I feel like last year we got some sort of notebook thing and it feels like it feels like one of those um, like packs of um, the tracing paper, not tracing paper, but the, uh, like that makes the half square triangles. I think they're from 
um, the Fat Quarter Shop or It's So Emma, where they come in different ones where you can make the paper piecing, log cat. It kind of feels like one of those notebooks, but thinner. And then something else in. I don't know, we'll see. Stay closed. I don't wanna get, I don't wanna accidentally be tempted to peek. My, um, my day seven one was like that as well, where it didn't wanna close because it's so packed full. So it makes me so tempted to look, but I'm like, don't look. <laughs> All right, so I have the Cotton Cuts Notion Box to open and the Fabric Enthusiast to open. So if you're interested in watching those, stay tuned to my channel because those will come up as well today. So I appreciate you guys stopping by to watch. Let me know what you think so far comparing this year's box to last year's box. I'd love to hear from you and take care. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season so far. Bye.